So I got the Ecobee Smart Thermostat, but when I went to install it, I realized that my old, really old thermostat does not have a 24 volt wire. That means I would have to run all new wiring up here, some sort of 24 volt line in order to use the Ecobee because it needs constant power. So today I'm gonna be showing you my workaround to set this up without needing to run the new wire all the way upstairs. So it's a little bit of a workaround for the Ecobee. So let's go ahead and get into things. Now, the first thing you're gonna have to do is remove your furnace cover and check what connectors you have on your terminal. So if we look on mine, it might be a little hard to see, but I have a common 24 volt right there at the top where the wires are running, but you can see it's not connected. I also have a W wire. I have a Y wire connected, which is for cooling. So if you wanna run your fan, and then I have an R terminal. Okay, so you, I'm gonna connect all four of those. So you will need to get a little bit of wiring. I'll show you what I got here. I just got this. So this is just five wire sets. I'm gonna only need four of these while we go through this install guide. And let's go ahead and get into how I'm going to install this with two wires without running this all the way upstairs. So step one, we're gonna do some prep work. I just turned off my furnace power, it's at the top here. And what we have to do is we have to disconnect our old wires. So I need to disconnect my old furnace's wires, my old thermostat's wires. So in order to do this, I just turned off the power and now we're just going to unscrew the wires that are connected to the terminal. Now I do wanna leave these partially available just in case something goes wrong with the install, you can see I also have my ground connected there. So you are gonna to wanna to leave your ground. I'm gonna pull this out. And now I can just pull the old wiring out right here. You guys are gonna see me yank it all out. So that's step number one. I just connected the old two wire set. So make sure you only disconnect the old wires. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our new wires in here. So I just have to strip those wires and then we'll come back and connect them to the correct terminals. Okay, so I have my new wiring right here. So what I'm gonna do is run it around the same way that I ran my old wiring. So I'm just gonna run it through the same spot and start to install them on the proper terminals. Now you're gonna see I have four wires here all stripped down. So you can see just the little ends that are gonna connect in there. It should be pretty simple. Okay, now I have my four wires here. It really doesn't matter which color wire you connect. Just make sure you have them marked. Now the Ecobee does come with little labels you can stick at the end on the other end. So that way we know which color we're connecting because you're gonna have to match it up on your Ecobee. So I'm just gonna connect it right here. Okay, so I did make one mistake. You do actually have to also have a ground wire because we're connecting the 24 volts. So make sure you connect your ground wire so you should have five wires going if you have your air cooling wire fan set up as well, um, or four if you choose not to connect that, but it's great to have just in case you ever have air conditioning connected. It's easier to just have all five from the beginning. All right, so now that I have the terminals connected on the new wiring, I just wanna show you what it looks like here. So you can see my 24 volt is connected right here. I have the W wire, the Y wire, which is for air conditioning. And then I have my ground right here and my R. They're all connected. Here's the new wiring. It's just gonna be running up through my furnace. Now you're probably wondering, well, how are you going to install this without running the wires upstairs? Well, let me show you what we're gonna be doing with the thermometer. I'm actually gonna be installing it downstairs. And yes, we're going to account for the shift of temperatures while we do this. So just stick around while we go through this next portion, which is going to be running the wire to the new uh, thermostat, which I'm going to install right on this wall, which is on the other side of my furnace. So I suggest picking somewhere that doesn't have hot air or a hot air vent of some sort. So my vents are over on the corner over there and on the other side of the room. So this wall works perfect, but you find somewhere that works for you. I'm just gonna be drilling a th hole through here to fit in the new wiring and then mounting on the Eco B. All right, so you can see I have my drill right here. So we're gonna be drilling a hole. I'm gonna be putting it about chest height just so it's a little easy. I'm around 5'11". So I know this wall should be pretty hollow, but I'm gonna go slow just to make sure. I wanna make sure I give enough room here as well on the sides for the Ecobee. So I'm gonna give it around four inches and I'm gonna put it for right about there. 
So actually, I think the best way would be to go from this way. So we're gonna make sure our drill is going the right way. And we're gonna go for it. Now I can feel some sort of insulation, so I'm just gonna drill through a little bit. Oh, there we go. I got through the insulation. And I think I can feel the other side. Okay, so we should have a big enough hole there. Now, since I didn't have a long enough drill bit, I'm just gonna measure up and I'm gonna measure across just to make sure I get the exact spot or pretty close. Yeah, so we have around just under 58 to let's say seven, just under seven. So we're just gonna mark that spot here. Okay, so that should be pretty close to where we need the wire to run through. Okay, so I've taken my wiring and I've just ran it in a convenient spot where I can now run it through the wall, through the hole that I drilled. So I'm now gonna go ahead and try to feed that wiring through the hole and let's see if we can get it in a good position. Okay, we got it folks. So I'm able to pull the wire through the wall now. Now what I'm gonna do is just feed the wire through the wall. I have a lot of excess. So I'm gonna cut off any excess I have after making the wire. You know, I'll give a little bit left just in case, um, but for the most part, I'll cut this off and then strip it so the four wires are visible, and then we can start the install of the Ecobee. And I'll show you how we're gonna solve the issue of the changing temperatures in the bottom and then the rest of the Ecobee setup. Okay, so now that we have our wires all ready to go, you can see we have our four wires all stripped. We're gonna start installing the mount and go through the install process. So now that we have this set in our basement, we can go through the Ecobee app, which makes things super simple. So they even have an install guide. So all you have to do is grab your thermostat and scan the back like so. We're gonna press get started. We have everything turned off already because we've been doing this for a little bit. We have everything we need to get started and we're just gonna start with the process. So that's all turned off. Just make sure for some safety reasons we don't have to worry about our old thermostat because we're installing from scratch. And now we're gonna select all the wires. So we know we have an R, we have a W, we have a Y, and then we should have our 24 volts. Now the 24 volts should just be marked as C, so we're gonna select C right there. So if your setup was similar to mine, these are the wires you should have connected. So you should have your R wire, your common wire, which is your 24 volt, your W, your Y, which is your air cooling, your fan wire, and then your G, which is just your ground. So that's using all five terminals. Now we're gonna press next. Now you can label your wires. Um, this will make it easier for the future. It does come with labels, so we're gonna do that really quickly. All right, so now you can see I have my wires nice and labeled, so we can go ahead and move to the next step here. So now use a screwdriver to loosen each terminal and we already have that done because our old one is taken off. We have our old one unscrewed. Now we can attach the trim plate if you have any gaps. Now the trim plate is just this extra piece right here. So if your thermometer, depending on thermostat, depending on the size, you can have this over top. We don't need that today. Now what we're gonna do is attach the back plate. So we have a few different screws in the box. So we have our new back plate right here and we're gonna run our wires through it. We're gonna connect these after so you don't have to worry about it right now. And it even has a little level on it so we can make sure it's leveled. So I'm gonna bring my drill over here and we're gonna drill, or these should be, we should be able to just put these in. Now it does say you can use a three and 16th drill bit so I'm gonna use that. So we have our drill bit. I'm just gonna mark a few holes here. So we're gonna do one right about there and one right about there. You can see it's perfectly leveled and we're gonna drill just a few anchor holes in here really quick. Just like that and we'll do one more at the top here.
just like that. All right, so now we can start to screw in our back plate. And I'm just gonna do the top here first, and I'm just gonna do it almost all the way. They're pretty long screws. So just start tightening those in. If you have a drill, use your drill. And then you can start to line up with the leveler at the bottom and make sure it's all set perfect here. Okay, so now that everything's perfectly leveled, we can move to the next step. So let's go to the next step here. We're gonna click next. So now what we do is since we have our wires labeled, um, we can start to wire the Ecobee. So there's a proper way to wire it. And I guess what you have to do is you have to wire it through the side here. So, we just need to get through that step. So we're gonna take our W here, which is our first one, and we just need to try to get it through that little slot right there. Okay, so now we're attaching our wires. So you just have to make sure you put it on the side instead of through the top. This is kind of awkward. I didn't quite leave enough room here, but I should be able to get everything in. Like I said, it is kind of really awkward. And the last one's gonna be our common. Now you should know you have it connected when those little tabs are pushed down when you press it in. I have a little leftover exposed wire, so I might pull it out and cut these just a tiny bit. All right, so now you're gonna see all of them connected right there properly in their spot on the sides like it's supposed to be. And now we should be on the final steps. We just gotta give them a little tug test to make sure they're secure. They all seem to be locked into place. So we should be good to go. All right, so we got our excess wiring tugged in and we should be on our final steps to connect our thermostat. Now we just have to put our front on like so. So the bottom goes on, make sure it's leveled and this should just snap into place. There we go. All right, so you can give it a little tug test, make sure it's locked into place there. It does pop off when you need it to, but yeah, it looks pretty good to me, it looks leveled. So that's our Eco B, and we heard it click into place, so we should be good to go. We got our thermostat now installed at the bottom here in my basement. And I'm gonna show you pretty soon how you're gonna be able to change the temperature so it's not reading your basement floor. And there we go, I just turned on the power, that was the final step. And we can see the Eco B has now turned on. So now it's gonna go us through a few steps here. It is saying hi, and we're gonna register the thermostat. So found on the thermostat screen. So we're gonna wait and register this, and we're gonna see if it boots up my furnace and what it's going off here. So we'll go through the setup process. So now it shows us what wires, and that's all correct. So we're gonna press yes. Uh, I prefer having it in Celsius personally. I have a furnace. So we're gonna name our EcoV. And we're gonna get through that process. And we're gonna connect it to the internet now. So I'm just gonna go into my phone settings and just follow the instructions here. Now you can see EcoB has popped up. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna allow access to the network. That way it's always connected to my network. So now it's just going through the setup process. We can just finish it all off here. What is the current mode? It's heat, we'll just go to auto. So my ideal temperature is probably around it's probably around 20 degrees. So we're gonna put it on 20 degrees to start. Um, in the summer, obviously I like it cooler. We're gonna select our country. So now we're gonna enter our registration code and we're gonna click finish.
So now on the app, it's asking us to fill out a few details such as our square footage and stuff. So you can just go through that and fill it out um, to the best that you can and the amount of floors you have. Okay, so now we have it all hooked up and it's gonna show you your current temperature, your humidity, etc. And you can see it has one sensor set up and that is your Ecobee sensor. Now you can hear my furnace starting. Now, this is where the issue arises. So that is the complete Ecobee guide. That is everything for the Ecobee complete installation. If you have two wires, hook it up in your basement, it makes things a little bit easier overall.